you've ever watched an episode of Critical Role, you are not welcome at my table. I don't f with critters. You tell me that your favorite system is 5th edition. Have you ever considered that you're wrong? Back in my day, kids got bullied for playing Dungeons and Dragons. We need to bring that shit back. There are too many normies ruining my damn hobby. If you haven't watched a six hour video breaking down the cleric, its optimal subclasses and its optimal multi-classes, then I just don't think this is the table for you, bro. You don't want to play a character, you want to play a stat sheet with an accent. And quite frankly, you're wrong. You're telling me you want to play a warlock and not use Eldritch Blast? It's like lifting without taking steroids. D20 systems are far too unrefined for my palate. I only play RPGs that resolve conflict through interpretive dance. Let me tell you, D&D started going to shit the second they start letting women and minorities play. Wait, was that the part you wanted me to leave out? If you've ever wanted to play Ranger before in your life, you should honestly just kill yourself. Anyone who plays a role-playing game with combat is, quite frankly, an unrefined troglodyte. Narrative is cope. It's just so damn hard to be a straight white male in the RPG space these days. Where are the people that look like me? You're playing a centaur mastermind rogue, huh? <laughs> what next you're gonna tell me? What other interesting facts about your life makes you so goddamn unique and interesting from everybody else in this entire goddamn game? I only play RPGs that simulate the trials and tribulations of 17th century merfolk. Austin, this joke isn't funny. It hurts. Your character died and you're all sad about it? Well, buckle up, Buttercup, because back in my day, we didn't even name characters until they were level five, as if they were a dog or a medieval child or something. And we didn't go home for avocado toast, neither. We did real stuff, like drink low alcohol beer. Every character I've ever played has been chaotic neutral. You didn't enjoy Requiem for a solemn merharlot? Do you lack the intellectual capacity to appreciate the trials and tribulations of a 17th century Atlantean colonist? I would rather staple my balls to a toaster than play any sort of homebrew. All these damn kids these days playing 5e with their feats and their advantage and disadvantage. Let me tell you what, back in my day, we didn't have none of that. Back in the 80s, the D&D was real. You were born in 95. And you shut your whore mouth. Of course you favor Pathfinder. You're clearly not creative enough to be role-playing. You actually want to role-play in this campaign? <laughs> Baby, baby man, little baby bitch boy. <laughs> you want to go back to drama class, you little baby bitch boy? The thing is, is that theater kids just don't understand D&D and will never understand the win conditions. You chose a dwarf because you are incapable of playing anything beyond a stereotype. Every character I've ever played has just been myself. I prefer to play real characters, which is why I always choose human. I actually kind of stand by this. You prefer Powered by the Apocalypse? Bro, you're not even playing a real game. No, 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 you don't get it. Apocalypse World isn't real powered by the apocalypse. You're literally just playing make-believe. I don't care if that's the apocalypse that all the other games are powered by. It is not real PBTA, and you are wrong. Now, are you going to cast Ray of Frost on this lava giant, or are you going to skip your turn? Yeah, so it was real weird. One of my players got super attached to their character. They put, like, actual thought into their personality. They wrote a five-page backstory. They bought a mini instead of using one of the communal ones. And they even got art commissioned for them. So I killed their character. Because <laughs> that's old school, baby. <laughs> Cobra Kai. You say you're not creative enough to play a narrative freeform RPG. Have you ever considered just sticking to video games? Class features are for pussies. Kids these days, they always want to start out as if they're a hero. How about you pull yourself up by your bootstraps and work for it? Feats are for pussies. I mean, back in my day, you didn't get to do cool shit until you were level 10. And by then, the game had already basically fallen apart. No, it's not a bad game. You're just playing it wrong. We were brought up in Marvel cartoons. We got to listen to Grandpa talk about the war. Requiem for a Solemn Merharlot has a very intricate, finely tuned gameplay loop that if you try to break from, the entire game falls apart. It's not bad game design, it is intentional. I don't give a rat's ass if sex slavery makes you uncomfortable. My world is gritty, dark, and real. We are including it, and you're gonna like it. I'm gonna make you. You play with safety rules? 
Do you also fuck with a condom? The fewer mechanics, the better, I say. I'd probably have the most fun with a game that has no mechanics at all. If it's not in the rule book, it's not welcome in my Mojo Dojo Tassa house. You insolent fuck! You tell me that you play 5e to have fun with your friends. Do you think that we play tabletop role-playing games to have fun with our friends? This is a war between good and evil. And quite frankly, you are on the side of Sauron. Tieflings are kinda hot. <laughs>